Hello, everyone! Welcome to the Textorcist, the story of Ray Bibia. Have you ever thought, man, I got a really big demon and ghost problem. How do I fix it? Well, the answer is to use a keyboard to type at them. So yeah, this game is a uh, top-down action uh, game where the main way of fighting your enemies is by typing passages from the Bible. So yeah, I've already played a little bit of this game uh, up until like the first boss, and it's really interesting, uh, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Let's get going. Rome, year 1990X. The Holy Church is currently the only organization ruling over the city. Those gosh darn churches. Always taking over the cities. Is that the Pope? The Pope is like, he's got his evil lord stance. After a long period of peace, corruption started to creep under the streets of Rome again. Immense powers were granted to the Holy Church by high figures. The Holy Church's high figures cunningly pulling the city's strings behind the curtains. <laughs> God, if I walked to a church and the Pope had blood red eyes, I knew I'd be in the right place. Now, after the last pope died, the church rules leaderless over the city. The last pope died. So who is that guy in the background? But an exorcist walks alone, the alleys of despair in this plagued place. He who claims to be the last of the upright shall take a crucial part in the events, involving a strange series of possession cases. Ooh. Private investigator exorcist. Mandrion. Hell yeah. Oh, poor car. Someone's car got messed up. <laughs> Use Eric Alright. It's been a while since I played the little bit of this that I have played, so I'm it's gonna be a little steep for me to remember how it plays. Oh I'm in so much trouble! This sexy bald priest! You'll never believe me! A wise man of the church. I was going to buy medicine for my extremely ill sister when I... I... Oh, oh just ignore him. <laughs> Fuck your dying sister. Let's do this. Fuck your dying sister. Oh my god, he teleported. Ugh, you surely have some bad manners. I was saying, gentle man of God, I need a small contribution of a few liras. Liras? Liras? Li you people of the church have plenty of economic resources, don't you? I see. You're not the only man you're supposed to be. But never mind. I already have something that'll get me medicine. And some booze. That's the wimpiest knife I've ever seen! <laughs> because, you know, I have no sister. <laughs> He's so casual about this. You know, I got no sister, I'm gonna kill you. Now forgive me, father, for I'm a liar. Now give me your money! <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. What? Cat got your tongue? Come on, say something already! Shut up! Yeah! Yikes! What did you do to me? What was that? It stings! Yikes. <laughs> you really seem to be out of luck. You've crossed paths with a private exorcist who had an incredibly bad day! Ray Bibia is the name. Like, like the Bible-y? Bi like the Bible? The Bibble. Ray Bibbola. Exorcist? Then you are from the church. What were those lights? Every letter I spell is a holy- I forgot about this. A holy bullet, to be clear. That's so stupid. <laughs> holy? What kind of ridiculous name is that? Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth there, mugger. He's just like flipping his knife there. Over and over again. They also trigger auto-combustion if misused on spiritually healthy people. <laughs> Damn! People content with their spirituality, if you speak the words of God at them, they just... <laughs> That's a curious side effect indeed. What? Look, I'm not possessed at all! I just wanted your money! Oh, you say you're not an evil spirit? Well, that will rest upon my judgment! And I'm never mistaken. Ah! You're out of your mind, old man! I'ma blow your face up with this gun! That's a knife. Uh, redeem. Yo. Oh. 
This is hard because like I'm bad at typing, so I have to like oh shit, I have to like look down at the keyboard to make sure I'm pressing at the right spot. Ooh. Oh fuck my life! Oh yeah, if you get hit, you have to pick it up again. Your exit. Oh fuck my life! Ah oh, Jesus! <laughs> Existence. I got this. I got this. I got this. I know how to spell. Ah! No! Come on, public school education. Oh! Oh, Jesus! I'm gonna die! You! You crazy! Damn. Sorry, bro. You're Yuri. Yuri! It is JoJo's. Fuck the clergy. I hope he has learned from this lesson. Dude, <laughs> this man is a puddle of viscera and gore. What is there to learn? <laughs> He's not gonna take any more life lessons cause he ain't got no more life. Oh, I unlocked red shoes. How oh, stylish. Your reward for killing a murderer is Nikes. <laughs> Ugh, life is short, but shitty days never end. Uh, answer the phone, baby. Hello? Ray Bibia, private exorcist. Hello? My housemate is sick! What? Sick? You mean in a cool way? Like, oh, dude, that's sick! Thank you, Ray. <laughs> I appreciate you. This must be some kind of prank. Why would you immediately go to that? If someone's calling you, obviously it'd be like sick, like. She's got a fever! She's puking everywhere! Sir, I'm an exorcist. Maybe you should call Jamili Hospital? She's spewing flaming skulls while floating over her bed! Exclamation point, exclamation point, one, exclamation point. Oh, well, that's different. Yeah, it is different. I live on Apia Street! Please hurry! She's puking on my college pictures! Yeah, yeah, they tend to do that. On my way. Gotta leave my office and look for the address of my navigator. Apia Street, wasn't it? Apia? Apia! Exorciste! <laughs> Sorry, Italian people. Evening. As soon as I entered my office, I received a phone call by an extremely loud man who asked for my help with a demonic presence in his house. It seems that my get drunk and pass out night has to wait. His address is Apia Street. Relatable, Ray. This evening, while I was walking home through Mondrion, I was harassed by a thief who wanted my money. I already forgave him. You murdered him! You blew him up, Ray! That was not forgiveness! Getting smoted down is God's love. That's what I learned in church. Humans. For a human, the real problem with attacking an exorcist is that it doesn't really matter what weapon, knife, power, or gun one uses, you'll always be competing against explosive holy bullets and a bad, bad temper. Nice. <laughs> holy shit, if priests had holy bullets in real life just whenever they spoke their words, we'd be living in a much different society. Take a large dump, Ray. You gotta be refreshed. Wash your ass with the bidet. It's my bidet. Most of you people don't even know what it's used for. I know what it's used for. Clean your ass, Bibia! I don't need a bath right now. I beg to differ, Ray. You're a stinky ass priest. Mondrion, Apia Street. Please type your destination. Uh, my des- or type, uh, Q to quit. Happy navigation. Uh, my destination is Apia Street. Confirm location? Yes. This is pretty cool. I like, I like the navigation thing. It's got a cool, it's got a cool like spy feel. I'm like a spy Christian. <laughs> a Christian spy coming to Pure Flix this December. <laughs> if this address is correct, this should be the place. Everything seems to be under control. Yeah, that's what they all say. And then Ray comes in, stinking like shit with an unclean ass. Who is it? Uh, it's the Exorcist. I received a phone call about him, a young girl, flaming skulls, and vomit. Oh, thank God, come in quick. Hello. 
Oh my god. You guys have some jello shots or something? Get a little out of control? She's barfing on everything! It's been hours! Two hours? She almost got my tie collection! One tie collection. Ugh. No. Not the tie collection. <laughs> He's so sassy. He's such a little sarcastic Catholic priest. Show me the way, please. And try to lower your- OF COURSE! FOLLOW ME! What's with the three- what's with the numbers and the exclamation points? Please, she puked over my wife's favorite cutlery set! Yes, but please, stop. They were a gift for our anniversary from Aunt Anna! Our guests love that set! Please help us! You have to hurry! Okay, fine, I'm going. Just shut your mouth now! Thanks. All this screaming is killing me. <laughs> oh, Ray. You're such a silly guy. What a silly priest. Oh. Yeah! An exorcist! You bet. And one of the holiest, too! I'll be the holiest exorcist! Don't make me laugh! Holy? You are no saint, Ray, and you know it! What? How do you know my name? Shut your mouth now! I'll cut off your head and then I'll fill your body with vomit! G-R-O-S-S. -S. Grouse. <laughs> He's so weird. Why is he speaking like this? Why is he talking like a regular ass, like, millennial? <laughs> Oh, this is the hard one. Uh, yeah. You, oh, yeah, you gotta be in, like, a certain range. Woo! Saint Michael! Oh, fuck my life. Saint Michael. Oh, they're gonna explode, aren't they? Yeah, they explode. The... Archangel... Ooh, get wrecked, scrub. Taste my holy bullets! Oh, fuck. Battle... It's very difficult. Again, this is tough for me. For most people who who uh, paid attention in school, this is, <laughs> this is probably very easy because they learn how to type without having to look at the actual keyboard. Um, unfortunately, I am very dumb. Oh, I guess he just stops attacking after a while. <laughs> Powers! Oh, right, she hides it. Oh god, I have a foot cramp! No! Please! Not the foot cramp! Uh, and... Oh my god, this is a terrible time! Ah, it hurts so much! No, please! I have to beat this ghost lady! Fuck you! Stop! I have to look down all the time! This should not be this hard! I'm just very bad at this. Jesus Christ! Okay, I got against. That's good. That's all I wanted. The spirits uh, uh, of evil. Hi, polices. Ha ha! Oh, the power of God. Oh, I'm still fighting. Jesus Christ! I thought it was over. <laughs> God damn you! This is. This game's gonna get harder too. I can feel it. I have a feeling I'm definitely going to die. Many times due to my uh, poor typing abilities. Granted to me. Fuck off, you monster. Fuck, I thought I could do it with two hands. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. I think I'm doing worse than I did the first time. Uh, 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 oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! What the fuck? Come on, man! I can't pick up my book! Your green shit's all over it! Okay. Four. The. P -p -p Powers. God, can you stick? Can you get in my. Oh my god, how am I. How, how am I. Don't know how I did that. From. This. The game is taking pity on me! Holy shit. <laughs> I did so terribly! Wow. That was so hard. For me. Because, you know, I'm stupid. Hello. You're saved!
We saved an innocent life. Oh god, she puked on everything! Everything is covered in yak! Yeah, although all these green shades look pretty relaxing in this room and... Get out of my house and take the girl with you! She's fired! What? Look, I don't even know her. How did you recruit her? Oh, we bought her, of course. But we have all the documentation. Um, a slave trade. Well, I suppose I won't be receiving my fee, right? No way! You're the one who should pay me for all this damage! Damn, okay, I'll bring the girl with me. So you can finally keep your fucking mouth shut. Wait. Wait. So we're not gonna kill the slave owner? Ray? <laughs> you killed... Oh, I forgot my name is Cock. <laughs> on the thing there. You killed the poor guy who tried to mug you, but you're not gonna murder the guy who's enslaving people? That's the people you should murder! If anyone, murder the slave traitors! I'm not surprised that demon knew my name. I've kicked some demonic asses and I'm pretty notorious among the devils. But it seemed to know even more than that. That slave trade, though, seems pretty odd. No, I think it actually seems very normal. <laughs> Something about this slave trade seems off to me. <laughs> the Holy Church still tolerates this kind of stuff. Or they're just turning a blind eye in favor of shinier matters. I want to dig deeper in this. It could be the source of a demonic outbreak. In that case, I'll have to stop this. Still no sleep for old Ray. My bed is occupied by a young girl. Of course I saved her from a demon. She was bloody possessed. But how'd she get possessed? Where'd she come from? I need to prevent any risk of an outbreak. What the fuck is this? Huh? What's this? Looks like a matchbook. It's from a place downtown. The Titus Twister nightclub. She must have dropped it while I was carrying her. Maybe I'll find some answers there. Too bad there's no address written on the back. I should look it up on my holy vetty computer. Ugh, I hate that pathetic piece of junk. Let's look it up on the old computer. Meet the whole vetty run from the holy church. It runs the MS Deus obliterating system or whatever. I can't believe people read informations on this scrap. For me, it feels like reading the news out of a microwave. An extremely annoying microwave. Ah, that was easy in the end. Now I can search for Titus Twister. Titus Twister. This website uses cookies to give you the best, most relevant experience. Use Titus website. Using Titus website means you're okay with us stealing your personal informations and using for unclear matters. Please notice that it's not real cookies we're talking about. No chocolate chips, no caramel flavor. Please refrain from unscrewing your computer case as this may cause data loss. That's funny. <laughs> Congratulations, you are our one billionth visitor. Click here to claim your top quality, completely customizable Titus right now. That's absolutely not a scam. No, thank you. I think you are a scam. I think you're lying to me. Enlarge your faith with Titus pills. What? Miraculous growth. Seven inches in seven days for your Titus. And on the, and on the seventh day, uh, God came. <laughs> you wish you had a larger, longer faith? Ask us how. With the revolutionary Titus pills, your faith will face an abnormal growth and reach the desired size in no time. No more jokes from friends. No more pity looks from women. Yeah, man. Your faith's just not big enough. But again, it's not about size. It's about how you use your faith, you know? Um, don't use it to subjugate and oppress people. <laughs> uh, Titus Twister Tits Club, the one and only tits bar in Rome. So that's the address of the Schmuckhole Club, Ostiens Avenue. I should really pay them a visit. Thirsty, bored, or in urgent need of tits? <laughs> Are you in urgent need of tits? <laughs> oh man, that's an amazing business idea. Have a have a tits store, like if it trans people in need of of gender validation. 
You can just give them tits. <laughs> you can just give trans women tits. That's so awesome. <laughs> Come and find us. We have the best quality of booze, disco music, lots of gangsters, and tits, of course! No priests allowed. Priests do not appreciate, don't appreciate the tits. Late night. This place, the tightest twister, looks like an old strip club. I hope the girl doesn't have anything to do with that dump, but the place could still be crawling with demons. Next stop, Ostians Avenue. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to stop for the first episode of this. Um, I'm gonna keep playing this, but this will be the first part. This game is really cool. It's got a unique gameplay style. Um, some of the uh, social commentary is a little bit on the nose, uh, and, and some of it's a little bit weird, but for the most part, it's very fun, very tongue in cheek. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this, and I'm gonna uh, keep going. So I'll see you guys next time. I love you.